So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Karthik, who's also a batch mate of mine. So Karthik, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. So hi everyone. Uh, I'm Karthik. I'm from Kerala. Uh, I'm currently pursuing my B Tech degree from Amrita Vishwavidya Pitham, Amrita Puri, and I'm uh, working as an intern at VMware. Uh, after which I'll be joining them as uh, an FT. So I'm here to just give give share an, uh, my experience, my interview experience. So yeah. Yeah. So let's get straight into it. Tell us about your interview experience, the rounds, and everything in details. Sure. Okay. So VMware uh, came to our college, if I'm not wrong, uh, during August, like at the end of August. And uh, the, um, basically, the first thing was the coding, the coding test, um, which was basically a, a bunch of um, you know these MCQ questions, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, bunch of uh, data structure questions mm-hmm. um, core concepts and uh, you know the uh, problems related to like java python etc yeah. so the yeah and these were like i would say were uh, easy they were mm-hmm. not as tough and there were some uh, quantitative aptitude questions also and after that uh, there there, uh, there was a coding question mm-hmm. and for the coding question um, if i remember correctly it was a a string uh, permutation question mm-hmm. so i was able to answer that so uh, when when the after the coding test i was actually uh, uh, confident because uh, um, you know i had done that problem right so mm-hmm. i will, i was looking forward to the interview rounds mm-hmm. which was which is actually the the you know the actual thing yeah. so the interview uh, interviews for vmware were i uh, was actually spanned uh, of about like two days like okay. two days yeah and uh, it consists of, of like four rounds mm-hmm. and for, uh, first two rounds were technical rounds mm-hmm. and next was a uh, manual round and the last was hr round okay. so the first day was completely just the first uh, the technical round first one and during that round uh, they asked me uh, you know just a brief introduction i just gave gave mm-hmm. them a introduction and after that they uh, the first question was a arabic question mm-hmm. um which i was uh, which was uh, i would say an easy question mm-hmm. and after that they actually modified that question and gave gave it to me again yeah they always do yeah. that <laughs> yeah 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 they yeah. told me to just you know um uh, there was like a um they told me to just do it in o n o f n etc optimize so <laughs> yeah yeah optimize it so yeah. uh, I I I was able to do that back uh, and um, so the, uh, that after that he mm-hmm. gave me an SQL question. Okay. So uh, SQL question was something that I've done uh, w- w- that I got for a previous exam for a mm-hmm. previous test. So I was able to do that as well. Mm-hmm. And I would say the the first uh, interview round went well. Okay. And I was uh, the next day uh, the second interview round. Uh, I mean the second. Uh, uh technical round started and yeah. for that one uh, it was actually a little bit tougher i would say um it was they they gave me a, a, a question based on strings okay and there was also again uh, they had to i had to optimize it and stuff so the problem was i was not able to um, do it in the time constraint given time constraint but again as a, uh, the main thing is that you have to talk to the interviewers mm, yeah. like Sure, that is a ma- yeah yeah because uh, without that even in the, uh, in the first technical round right yeah. i my program did not compile the first time so okay. i was like uh, i was uh, but he uh, the interview was really helpful and you know yeah. guided me through that process hmm. so i would say uh, talk to them that's a really important thing and uh, yeah after the second technical round uh, the, again the interview uh, helped me and after that uh, i was told i was told that i was uh, selected for the next uh, round mm. which is the manager round yeah and for the manager round uh, um, a lot of uh, of emphasis was put on the projects actually mm. so while we are on the topic of projects let me tell you about a great opportunity from cryo so cryo is a great platform for learning software development skills and they have two of the best courses on full stack and back end development So in the full stack development course they'll teach you everything that you need to know to become a full stack developer they'll teach you every latest technology 
that you need for becoming a full stack developer and you'll be learning by doing. So you'll be making projects along while you learn and you'll be making real life projects and such projects that if you put them on your resume, then that will help set you apart from rest of the candidates and give you a great chance of getting selected in your dream company. But not only that, you'll also get placement help from them. You can see their placement statistics. They have an average dream package of around 11 LPA and the average dream package of around 22 LPA. And they have tie ups with over 240 companies that hired directly from Cryo. So you can click the link in the description, you can check Cryo out and you'll also get some free gifts along with that and you can book your free trial. So that's the best part that you don't have to pay, you can just book your free trial, see whether you like the course or not, see yourself whether the course is worth it or not, worth it or not. see the content and then you can think about going forward with it or not. So click the link in the description, book your free trial and use this opportunity with Cryo to get to your dream company. As I was giving the introduction, he was asking a lot of a lot about the projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I just uh, told uh, told him about that. And uh, he asked me a bunch of questions related to, to those areas. Mm -hmm. And after that, a bunch of uh, core concept questions, mm -hmm. uh, you know, DBMS. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those questions. And um, there was also a design question where you, you have to design a system mm -hmm talk about the architecture you know just to what data how will you put the database how, yeah. uh, how do you yeah the architecture question and after that at the end uh, there was a he gave me a puzzle so okay yeah a puzzle it was i i you probably heard of this puzzle it's actually it goes like this uh, there's like 25 horses or something mm -hmm. uh and you have you have uh, you need to give the minimum number of races that you have to plan to get the uh ranking of the horses like which are which, which are the fastest horses like you have to get the first three horses okay, okay so yeah. first fastest horse then the second fastest etc so you have, you have you have to give the minimum number of uh, mm -hmm. races that you have to do so that was the question and i think i've i actually had heard about like I've, i i know the method mm -hmm. like from somewhere i have seen it so i was able to get the answer mm -hmm. um and yeah, the after that the uh, interview was over. We pretty much more, mostly focused on the uh, projects. Uh, yeah. So after that, um, at, in the evening, I was no, uh, notified that I would be uh, I was selected for the HR. Mm. And for the HR, I would say it was pretty casual conversation. It was mm. like, yeah, uh, you know, typical like uh, HR questions were asked, uh, like why do you want to join? Uh, this company yeah uh, yeah and what are you like at academic achievements except just to mm -hmm. you know just to see how confident you are or how how you are you know how uh, how you can handle a situation like that you just you don't prepared for questions mm -hmm. like that right yeah so that was that was a good experience and after that i got to know that i was elected when at like midnight or something second day so VMware is a dream company for a lot of people. It offers a nice package and a lot of people want to get into VMware. So what advice would you give to people how they can prepare so they can also crack VMware? Okay, so I would, I would, I will give you my personal experience. Mm -hmm. So people can just uh, pick what, uh, you know, something that they yeah. feel uh, might be helpful. So first thing is, um, as you, as you might know, I was not, uh, I didn't start in CSE. Yeah, you know? yeah, triple E. So, yeah, yeah. So I was uh, not, you know, well acquainted to uh, coding and stuff. Mm -hmm. right? So I started a bit late. I started at like third, third year. Mm -hmm. And during third year, I started doing uh, lead code, a lot mm -hmm. of lead code. So that actually strengthened my like problem solving abilities. Yeah. But, uh, but like uh, afterwards, uh, I didn't, uh, I did mostly projects. Hmm. like just data science projects or uh, some web, web projects or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, uh, so I would say one thing is to either do projects or do an internship, right? So mm. internship, right? Yeah, so work I, experience. I, right, right, right. Uh, I did not have any, I didn't do an internship. Uh, so I focused on projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also focused, I also contributed like open source, etc. Mm. So that that's what I, uh, yeah, you need to have something, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was something, and that game. Since I, uh, I used to do lead code. Mm -hmm. At the end, when the placement, like uh, these placement preparation started, right? During that time, uh, they they 
we did like quantitative aptitude and stuff mm-hmm. like that right yeah 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 that, that because i did that dsc and stuff like that before i mm-hmm. had time for this this cons and mm. uh, this, these things and also the course uh, core uh, fundamentals you know, course, uh, yeah yeah fundamentals this uh, os and stuff like that mm-hmm. so that for that i had some time but uh, i was doing that mostly and uh, i would say one thing is like again lead code um there's actually a i mean hacker rank of course like mm-hmm. to learn things and uh, there's also a, 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 like this some kind of a program in hacker earth called coding code monk so yeah, this yeah. is something yeah this this uh, this is for people who can't like organize what they have to learn right mm-hmm. so they just give you what, like a pathway mm-hmm. to tell to yeah so that is that that was really helpful and again uh, at the end uh, geeks for geeks right yeah. so geeks for geeks had uh, last minute notes mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and uh, interview experience just like what you're doing right now <laughs> that was yeah. really helpful yeah, yeah i was looking at vmware's interview experience all that so yeah that's what was important again as i said projects mm-hmm. uh, again problem solving all that you have to look into so i guess you covered pretty much everything that there is yeah. not only covering vmware but in placements in general right this is a stuff that works for almost every good company in placement itself right right okay so thanks a lot man for coming on my channel i know you're a bit busy right now but still you were able <laughs> to spare time for me i'm very thankful and i hope hey, this experience yeah and i hope this experience will help a lot of people who want to crack vmware or just want to crack placements in general so again thanks a lot for coming yeah. on my channel yeah yeah thanks thanks again thanks for the opportunity